and he teaches me a lot of lessons about you guys. But many of them require the delayed gratification skill. <laughs> I want to know, is there any way that kids can develop the delayed gratification skill? It's interesting. If you think about, we'll, we'll take it to a broader point, but if you think of the law, a 30-year government bond paying 3%, and you allow for, as an individual, paying some taxes on the 3% you'll receive, and you'll have the Federal Reserve Board saying that their objective is to have 2% inflation, you'll really see that, uh, that delayed gratification, if you own a long government bond, is that, you know, you get, to, you get to go to Disneyland and ride the same number of rides 30 years from now that you would if you did it now. I, I, the, the, the low interest rates for people who invest in fixed dollar investments uh, really mean that, uh, you really aren't going to, you know, get have eat steak later on if you eat hamburgers now, which is what I used to preach to my wife and children and anybody else that would listen many years ago. But, uh, uh, so it's I don't necessarily think that that uh, for all families in all circumstances that saving money is is uh, necessarily the best thing to do in life. I mean, you know, it, uh, uh, if you really you really tell your kids they can, whatever it may be, they never go to the movies or will never go to Disneyland or something of the sort, because if I save this money 30 years from now, you know, we'll, we'll be able to stay a week instead of two days. I think, I think there's a lot to be said uh, for doing things that, that bring you and your family enjoyment rather than trying to save every dime. And, uh, uh, so uh, I advise... The, the, Delayed gratification is not uh, necessarily a, an unqualified uh, uh, course of action under all circumstances. Uh, I always believed in spending two or three cents out of every dollar I earned, <laughs> saving the rest. <laughs> but I, I really, I've, I've always had everything I wanted. I mean, one thing you should understand, if, uh, if you aren't happy having $50,000 or $100,000, you're not going to be happy if you have $50 million or $100 million. I mean, it, it, uh, the, a certain amount of money does make you feel, and those feel around you feel better just in terms of being more secure in some cases. But, but uh, loads and loads of money. I, I've probably known as many rich people as just about anybody. And uh, uh, I do not, I don't think they're happier because they get super rich. I think they're I think they are, they are happier when they don't have to worry about money. But uh, you don't see a correlation between happiness and money uh, beyond a certain place. So don't go overboard on delayed gratification. 